All right, we got the uh, Blackview DR591 channel. So this is only gonna be the front dash cam, not the rear. Um, I didn't think I needed the rear one, but I uh, figured I'd just go with this one. So let's open this up and see what's inside the box. All right, it's uh, in a nice cushion little uh, storage thing. Here you can see that it's got the little mount on it here. Um, let's push it through, push it through. there we go. So yeah, there's the uh, camera right there, and uh, I'm sure we can move it around so this is mounted, then the camera's facing the front like that, right? So either way, um, we'll go ahead and uh, look at the startup guide here. And I'm sure we have to do something on the computer to kind of get it programmed up. Just so you know though, uh, this does come with one. So it's got a small one, a little small what, scan disc, I guess that's what it's called. And then we have uh, the larger one that's uh, gonna be used for uh, obviously recording and keeping that information. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, quick start guide and get going. So you have to like pry this open here to get inside here so it, it kind of pops in there. So if you just kind of pry it out gently, then you can put the micro SD card in there. Uh, and then when you want to play it back, you put it in there and put it in your computer. Um, and then it does give instructions on you know, hiding the wire and everything. And it says use a pry tool. Well, mine didn't come with a pry tool, but luckily I have one from other installations of things I've done. So we're gonna go ahead and, and mount it, and I'm not gonna run the wire just yet, I'm just gonna plug it in to kind of get it going and have a first initial trip, and then we'll format it. All right, so for me, I think I'm gonna put this dash cam right here, because I think it'll be easier to run the wire up through there and, and then down around, and then, believe it or not, there's a uh, cigarette or 12 volt uh, thing right there, see it? Right there, that's what that is. And so if I can somehow find a way to get in there and hide that wire, that'll kind of perfect and so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it uh, I'll run the wire after a while but I'm just gonna adhere it and then go ahead and plug it in down here just to get things started all right so you can uh, turn the camera around you know if you hit the unlock button or the lock button right here you can kind of flip it around so instead of it being on this side I decided the best spot is there and obviously I don't want it to be blocked you know the camera would be blocked by that so that's a good spot and I think I can run this wire up and around and through and hide it pretty well so let's go ahead and plug it in and fire up the engine here and uh, see what happens when we get going so I've plugged it in just right there that's not where I'm gonna ultimately have it but that's where I'm doing it for now let's see the light came on there and I think there's like a initializing SD card so it says initial do not disconnect the power initializing S starting. initializing SD card do not connect the power starting right now so we're just gonna sit here and wait for it to do its thing Black for your safe driving. all right it said something about safe driving and then starting normal recording it said so obviously this is a little upside down because you could do it any, either way uh, you know some people might have put it over here and obviously see it a different way but let's go ahead and um, Take out that SD card and we'll go format it on a little bit better, put time, the correct time and everything on the computer and then I'll uh, hide the wires and everything and we'll get going. I just wanted to point one thing out real quick. So I was obviously going to have some trouble taking out the SD card, but if you hit this lock, hold this lock button, obviously the camera will come right out and I'll be able to access the uh, smaller SD card. So just if you're having that situation, that's how to do it. So I have it like this and it's upside down and so you'll have to um, you know, flip it or, or find a way to flip it when you're doing the Blackview viewer. There's supposed to be a way to flip it. I, yeah, I, I saw the little icons to try to flip it, but they were grayed out. So I don't know how to make it flip. But anyway, we're gonna try to run the wire and everything and get going. So when I was recording this video and I thought it was upside down, uh, I was actually able to, when I formatted it, um, I was actually able to guess correctly. So these right down here normally would be what you have to uh, do to um, flip it, but they're grayed out as you can see. But how I did this before was I went to settings and then firmware, and then I scrolled down to this part, front camera rotation, I put on. Uh, and I believe that's what made it um, then switch basically around to know that I had flipped my um, camera. And so it's, it's all recording the way I want it to, obviously this way. So if you wanted to know how, that's how. 
All right, so what I've done is I've started to, as you can see, wire it up there. I'm gonna poke that back a little more. Maybe use a clip on that one. But if you pull this headliner back, you can pull it down a little bit and shove that wire way back there. And then when you get to here, you're gonna to wanna to use like a tool like I have. I already had one of these. And you can pry this apart and slide this wire down through and you're gonna be able to come right down all the way to here. And then here you can pop this off. And there's a lot of room in there to feed the uh, wires through. And then you can pop it up down through here, bring it through, try to slide it along right here. And then you'll be able to uh, plug into that guy right there. And you know, you have a little wire maybe right here. So when you open your glove box, very rarely that you do, uh, you'll see the wire, but that's a pretty good way, I think, of uh, hiding it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and see if you can see anything. All right, so I wired it up in there. So like I said, per personally, I'm preferring to put it on this side. I know it's upside down and I'll have some recordings upside down, but I personally want it in this situation here, this position, sorry. So I fed it up through here, up, up there, you can, and you can pull it down a little bit and shove it back. And then this was the tricky part. You need that little tool that I have. It helps. You don't have to have it. But I went ahead and I fed it, you know, through there. Kind of pulled this back. Fed it. Put it underneath in that part there. I was able to pop this thing open. Okay. And then I was able to feed it underneath through there. And so we do have it coming in through right here. You can see. So um, when you close this glove box, you're not going to see it. When you open this one here you'll be able to plug it in. You can just maybe do whatever you want with this wire, shove it back in here, but go ahead and let's uh, let's try to plug it in. I'll be able to hide these wires in a moment, but let me go ahead and plug it in. And we've got power, see? So, um, I'll go ahead, you know, again, I'll probably tighten up these, make it, make it look a little more neat in there, but yeah, that's the way you can do it in a Range Rover. Uh, I think that works really well. There you go, close it all up and you don't see any wires anywhere that maybe needs to be popped in a little better but yeah that's the way i was able to hide it looks pretty good um you know the wires are hidden pretty well i uh, wish they would integrate it already into the cameras in the front one day like they do in tesla they'll do that uh, but hey for now that's going to do just fine so again it's upside down yes i know you can figure out a way on your viewer when you want to view these things vlc or whatever you're using to view these black viewer black view viewer you can flip them around or find a way to save them and flip them around if you needed to use them all right guys that wasn't too bad so if you have any questions please comment down below and as always subscribe to this channel thanks a lot